welcome back guys and now we are looking at varicella or chicken pox okay now if you know me if you have seen my videos then you know that i don't do single videos quite often the video will be linked to some other video so now we are looking at varicella in the next video we will be looking at herpes zoster and finally we will just combine them both and we will look at varicella zoster okay so i could have directly explained varicella zoster but if you have a basic understanding of varicella and zoster then it becomes quite easier and it's helpful to know all these different conditions separately okay so varicella will begin the notes will be available on the facebook group link in the description below like and comment subscribe okay we'll continue now varicella is a droplet infection so it spreads via air transmission coughing sneezing and all those previously at the median age so most common age when it would occur was 7 years according to old park edition now it has changed and even 40 years people you can see them coming with chicken pox and median age i think it's somewhere around 25 years not really sure I might want to check that out now varicella will dive right into the clinical part because we know it's caused by a virus now it has two stages we have the pre eruptive stage that's before the eruption and we have the eruptive stage pre eruptive stage lasts for 3 days and after 3 days you'll be having the eruptive stage where you'll be seeing four lesions at the same time you'll be having macules you'll be having papules then the papules develop into vesicles then the vesicles go into pustules all four of them at the same time which are centripetal that is towards the center you have centripetal arrangement good and vesicles you can do the transmutation test if you want and it will also be associated with lymphadenitis now the recovery after this eruptive stage there is a recovery on treatment or if it's self limiting given the fact that the person has good immunity okay the pustules are because of secondary bacterial infection now why is this important we'll get back to it when we start the treatment now during the pre eruptive stage it's not much you'll be having the symptoms of cold so you'll be having fever you'll be having weakness malice yeah body ache and all the cold symptoms and finally there will be eruptive stage with all the skin rashes now how do you treat it it's very simple you treat it with antiviral what antiviral the best one currently would be acyclovir time tested acyclovir has been around for a long long time 20 years 30 years acyclovir how much 800 mg how many days 5 to 7 days depending upon the duration and how much should you give it's let's say tid so around 8th hourly or 4th hourly depending upon the severity okay tid or qid depending upon the severity now since we are having secondary bacterial infection which has led to the formation of pustules antibiotics we prefer broad spectrum okay and then you need associated treatment so you'll be needing calamine lotion for cooling of the body the person will be in a burning state so you need calamine to soothe that so calamine lotion then if there is itching you can give antihistaminics and you can give if the person is having insomnia and all you can give slight diazepams but most of the time since children are the people affected it's better to avoid diazepams and all i think they'll sleep better okay calamine lotion antivirals and antibiotics good choice so chicken pox simple and we finished off easily in the next video we'll look at herpes zoster and the next one we'll look at varicella zoster and how it's horrible okay see you in the next video thank you for watching bye